Hi everybody, Russ on the West Ham Network. Hope you are all safe and well. If you're new around here, give it a like, give it a share, give it a share, give it a comment, give it a subscribe, do all that good stuff. I bring with you today, Monday the 28th of February 2022's edition of Hammers Headlines, where basically each day we bring you the headlines to do with the Hammers, hence the name, brought to you in association with KUMB.com. Three stories we have for you today, starting with a story about Ben Johnson and the content contract that he was offered um, which wasn't agreed uh, last week uh, the athletic report that he was offered a six and a half year deal uh, last year last week and after negotiations reached an impasse we obviously activated his two-year extension uh, otherwise his contract would have run out in may of this year but now we've got into the summer of 2024 not unusual for west ham to have offered such long deals we've done the same with uh dean garner with winston reed and with declan rice who's on a long-term deal with a one new option at the end of his contract running out now obviously with Johnson um, just breaking back into the first team it's all coincides quite well yesterday being the first time he was named in the starting lineup since uh, December with the 4-1 away win to Watford and actually he's our only recognised right back we have or sorry right wing back um, that we have in the club as Vladimir Soufal is recovering from a hernia operation uh, Ryan Fredericks is out with a groin injury and also Harrison Ashby the promising under 23 uh, year old player is out with a hamstring injury um, so he, it's quite needed that he's, his form has got back into at the right time he's got back into the squad at the right time um, also I mean I, I, assumption is negotiations will probably start again in January of 2023 as he'll have a year and a half left of his contract that's usually when they start renegotiating to be honest um, and also maybe a running the first team could get him back into the, the eyes of the England under 21 selectors he's yet to get a cap from the junior teams yet and um, with games as two uh, European under 21 championship qualifiers in March so who knows he's got a lot of competition though ahead of him uh, with the likes of Max Aaron's um, Southampton's uh, um, Tino Viratamento Vira great name and also um, Nottingham Forest's um, player right back who's on loan to them from Middlesbrough um, Deej Spence as well so it's good news for Ben next we have news of an incoming um, and it is this man Alex Scott's um, not the Alex Scott who played for England women and um, also is uh, a presenter on BBC. But this guy, who's an 18 year old midfield starlet from Bristol City. Um, and several news sources have basically um, cited that we are interested in him in the summer. Um, we're in need of central midfielders in the summer, that's for sure. Mr. Noble is obviously hanging his boots up. We've got um, Kral's more likely going back to his parent club. And also there's question marks over whether Mr. Rice or Mr. Suchet will still be around the, in the summer. We don't know. So we are in need of central midfielders and this guy fits the bill. He's um, smashing it for the championship side at the moment. And us... Uh, a one of several uh, suitors for his signing in the summer. As I said, West Ham, uh, Leicester, Everton and Spurs are all sniffing around him. And the Daily Mail reports that Bristol City are keeping, uh, keeping tabs and are bracing themselves for a number of summer bids for Alex Scott. And then to give you an, a sort of a, and finally story, we've got this man. John Terry. John Terry says something nice about West Ham. That deserves its own news item for sure. But Mr. Terry took to Twitter to yesterday to say um, how how much admiration he had for Mr. Moyes and uh, what he's doing at his boyhood club. And obviously, Mr. Terry is known f for spending uh, many most of his playing years at Chelsea, but obviously his formative years were at West Ham under the tutelage of Tony Carr, who is on the West Ham Network in two weeks' time. Just a little plug there. Um, and so um, he took Twitter to say, and I quote, very impressed with West Ham and what David Moyes is doing. And he name checks three players in the starting lineup. Uh, Lucas Fabianski, Declan Rice and Kurt Zuma were superb. And just to round the circle we started with ben johnson we're going to end with ben johnson um a a response to twitter um it was put to john terry that west ham right back ben johnson deserved a special mention too to which mr terry replied simply with agreed and that's our stories that's our hammers headlines today um in terms of what we've got coming up tonight make sure you check out the west ham uh, weekly that'll be at nine o'clock um where stell will be taking through 
all the goings on in the last week uh, with the, the games we've played, obviously going through some of the women, obviously the women won last, yesterday as well in the cup against Reading 1-0, um, the youth team, how the youth team have been getting on recently in the last week, plus all the transfer news, injury news, contract news, all that type of stuff. Then we've got the what? We've got the preview for the Southampton game tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night. Then we've got the watch along for the Southampton FA Cup game on Wednesday. Thursday, Scott Minto's joining us for a live Q&A, which is always good. Um, and then we've got preview shows for the Liverpool game and then the match day on Saturday. So lots of stuff coming up. But thank you very much uh, for joining. Uh, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Wash those hands. Come on, you irons. And we'll see you again very, very soon. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>